Tonight, we have a very special guest with us to represent our Purple Stride Sponsor of the Year, HM Insurance. In 2011, HM Insurance presented a check to the Pancreatic Cancer Action, Action Network for $53,000 from the organization's annual sales meeting and charity auction. HM Insurance is a subsidiary of Highmark, and Highmark, Highmark Vice President Dennis Cronin, a pancreatic cancer survivor, led the charge. Dennis also convinced co-workers to participate in Purple Stride Pittsburgh. The following year, Dennis volunteered as honorary chair and media spokesperson for Purple Stride, and HM Insurance became the event's presenting sponsor. <laughs> Their company team was the largest team at Purple Stride Pittsburgh. Thanks to their commitment to the cause, their parent company, Highmark, was compelled to make an additional donation. Over the last two years, all of the support from Dennis, HM Insurance, and Highmark have generated more than $120,000 for our mission. Just as important, the company has raised critical awareness about the disease and served as an important example of corporate ph philanthropy to other businesses in the community. Tonight, we are so pleased to honor our Purple Stride Sponsor of the Year, HM Insurance, and invite Dennis Cronin, a three-year pancreatic cancer survivor, to accept the award. I guess this really is a little bit like the Oscars. Um, <clears throat> it's not too often someone from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania gets flown out to LA, <laughs> gets, to gets, to, gets to attend two days of just incredibly inspirational meetings, and then ultimately comes to a nice dinner and gets an award. So um, I'm just going to soak it all in for a second. So before I, I um, start to talk, of course, I want to just thank a few people. Um, we'll start right with Andrea Bauer, who already got her award tonight. Um, but, and, and by the way, the fact that she secured all those media sponsorships, I think she called me every time and wanted me to talk to the media every time she secured one of those. So I could have counted them myself in, in my office. Um, but she nominated HM Insurance for Sponsor of the Year, so we're, we're grateful to her. For that and and also just want to recognize the whole team from Pittsburgh it's been a great experience working with you for the last two purple strides and secondly just quickly want to thank uh, the individuals from the pancreatic cancer action network um, Julie Jenny Riddell who's been our host here every second since we got here um, we, we just really, really appreciate the fact that not only did you select HM Insurance for this award, but you invited Kathy, my wife, who's here, and I out here for these two days, and we really appreciate it. It's been, it's been a great experience. So thank you for that. Um, the next thing I was going to do was talk a little bit about what HM Insurance has done um, on behalf of the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, but Julie already did it. And she did it probably a lot better than I would do it. So I'm done. We're cutting that off. Um, <laughs> and we're moving to the next thing. That means everyone can dance quicker. Um, but the one thing I learned and learned very quickly is that when you're a survivor of this, of this terrible disease, you never miss an opportunity to tell your story. So, so... So I'm going to do it tonight from just a quick, a quick, quick perspective, and I think it's something that will resonate with most of the people in the room. But I do have to ask one thing: uh, the individuals who taught the storytelling class, if they're still here, I want them to leave because I don't want to hear. 
They're gone? Okay. My wife knows I don't deal with criticism well, so if I screw up that OBS thing or whatever, I don't, I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know, okay? So the way that I'll talk, talk about um, you know, my perspective on, on surviving pancreatic cancer is really I'm just going to start and say, so immediately before we get on the plane to come out here, we were at my daughter's middle school swimming meet. So my daughter's a 13-year-old. So anyone who has a 13-year-old year old daughter, who has ever had a 13-year-old daughter, or even has seen a 13-year-old girl on TV... <laughs> knows that you ride a roller coaster up and down and up and down. Well, at the swim meet, that's what we did. Uh, she, her first event was a relay. She didn't do well, and we saw that. And so I worked my way down to where she was sitting, very unhappy on the, on the bench, and I talked to her and pumped her up and said, yeah, don't worry about it, move on. Um, amazingly, she swam her next event. She did a great job. Uh, swam the best she ever has. Uh, great time. So again, I worked my way down where you're not supposed to be and talked to her again. And, and so we had the low moment. And then 15 minutes later, we had the high moment. So there were two, two great moments. Um, about two weeks before that, I spent time with my 16-year-old son playing basketball and played with he and a lot of the guys, that, a lot of the boys that are in his league. And so there were a lot of moments there. There were competitive moments. There were just fun moments. There was a lot of trash talking moments because that's what 16 year old boys do. Um, and so just a, just a fun experience with them. Um, when I rewind a month ago, we went to New York City for my son's 16th birthday. So my wife Kathy and my children and my parents went to New York City. Now I could talk on and on about all the moments from that trip because there were a lot. The train ride up, the subway system, uh, unique moment. Um, <laughs> The plays, the Big East basketball tournament, just a lot of moments. And so, so everybody here is probably thinking, so that sounds pretty ordinary, right? You know, it just sounds like ordinary things. And I just want to tell everybody, everyone in the room, that once you battle pancreatic cancer, you come out of it and you realize if you're lucky enough to survive, there are no ordinary moments with your loved ones. There are no more. You know, there might be intense moments, happy moments and sad moments, but no ordinary moments. You know, conversely, just this morning, I, I really had a, a powerful conversation with one of the volunteers here. And the, really, the discussion was around the volunteer losing her grandmother. And she talked about how she lost her grandmother one week after her wedding, five years ago. But she talked about it like it was yesterday. And I think that's one of the things that was so powerful. And the reason for that is because she can remember how interconnected her wedding was with her grandmother passing. And her grandmother fought and fought to try to survive so she could go to her wedding. But ultimately that didn't happen. They did work it out so that her grandmother got to share in the wedding a very small amount. But her grandmother was not able to share in that wonderful moment. And so to me, that was just drove home the message and was another example of how this deadly disease steals moments from all of our lives. And I think most of the people in the room can probably can relate to that. So when I hear people talk about doubling the survival rate by 2020, which is, as um, Mark said previously, it's just, a, it's just an incredible goal. It's clear, and it's a great goal. And when I hear that goal, what I think of is really doubling the amount of moments that everyone gets to experience. And you would think... <laughs> that would mean thousands and thousands more moments for a father or a mother 
with their son or daughter, thousands more moments for a grandparent with their grandchild, you know, thousands more moments with a husband and wife, or thousands more moments between two siblings. And, and to me, that really, what, whether for everyone, everyone in this room, whether it's the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network staff, or whether it's the clinical folks, the researchers, or most importantly, for all the volunteers who spend all their precious time supporting this cause, to me, we should all be very, very proud because what we're doing is increasing the amount of those moments spent between loved ones. So once again, thank you for, for having us here and for recognizing our organization as the sponsor of the year. And it's been our great privilege to be here for two days with such a wonderful group of people. Thank you.